here is an engine that I do not steam very often at all. It seems to be quite a temperamental beast sometimes. Uh, this is a Silden 13.2, dating from somewhere around the late 40s to the early 1950s, made by Sydney S. Bird, who are better known for their, uh, I think, uh, amplifiers and uh, sound related equipment. And anyway, this one is a uh, an unusual beast, not only in its uh, layout, but obviously in its very unique single acting piston arrangement with this uh, sort of uh, oscillating sort of uh, rocker motion valve gear, sort of semi rotative, I think it's known as. You see it's running there. It's got a bit of a leak from the whistle and the overflow pad a little bit. I've got some super wick in there which seems to give it a much better uh, chance of actually running. I tried to run this one at Exeter uh, in October last year and it was a little bit reluctant then. But uh, we see you've got it running now. You can see uh, it runs at a central crank, very similar to the Crest in many ways. In many ways. And if I uh, Turn the engine around. You can get a view of that uh, rocker arm there, which controls this semi-rotative sort of pivot in there, which is letting the steam in and out. Very unusual engines. Uh, quite collectible. No idea how many they actually made of this particular engine, but uh, I'd say it's uh, extremely. Uh, interesting engine to actually watch running. I always have to give it plenty of uh, lubrication around here and the pivots and on there around the journals to, uh, to give it a good chance of running. So it's running uh, some super wick in at the moment which gives a pretty hefty flame uh, it needs to in order to, uh, to get sufficient pressure to actually get this stop to uh, this engine to run. So, much more difficult and temperamental to actually get started than a, a double acting piston or, or an oscillating uh, cylinder arrangement. But nonetheless, it's up and running now, and it's nice to see this one actually going again. It's, it's, as I say, it's not an engine I run very often. Very pleasing engine to look at, unusual layout. Got that wonderful uh, cylindrical brass burner with three wicks on it and uh, a little rest that you see here which stops it from twisting over in either direction. Simple whistle arrangement and a rather splendid unique looking safety valve. And uh, it's got a similar flywheel that you'll find on the 13.3, 13.1 and the 13.5. And it's all mounted on a piece of aluminium with uh, a nice wooden base to it. So it's aesthetically uh, a very nice engine to actually uh, to look at. There's no exhaust to chimney, the exhaust comes out from the tube behind this cylinder arrangement which looks a lot bigger than the actual uh, piston is inside or so I believe. I've seen it run faster with the uh, wicks that are producing flames coming up to here. I mean, the, the paint on that firebox seems to stand up to it extremely well, but uh, I think it's probably a little bit too uh, hair raising. There's a good view of the uh, semi-rotative valve here. Some engines have the, the actuating arm facing upwards, some downwards, it doesn't really make a great deal of difference as long as the timing is set up correctly. You can see that small pipe facing downwards to the rear of the cylinder, that's where the exhaust comes out. See the cylindrical burner there. Whistle, very similar or you could say mammal spring load uh, reset which was very similar to this but they based it on that they did uh, borrow a lot of ideas if it worked, use it in 
give it their own interpretation. No point trying to reinvent the wheel. You see it's a simple sort of engine frame, it's bolted onto two little uh, risers which uh, hold everything in position. I've never taken this one apart because obviously the issues with getting the actual timing correct again is obviously uh, nothing is screwed in on this. It's a bit of a push fit, this uh, flywheel and uh, crank and uh, this crank assembly. So let's say if it ain't broke I'm not going to fix it. So there you have it. Very unusual British engine, Silden 13.2, dating from somewhere around, I don't know, 48, 1951. They weren't made for a tremendous length of time because once things started picking up after the war, uh, Sydney S. Bird actually reverted back to uh, to the building, I think, uh, rectifiers and amplifiers and things of that ilk. So uh, quite a sought after little engine. They made a, a range of five engines, range from the 13.1, up to the 13.5 and um, I think they marketed some of them under the Vulcan name as well. Thought give us a run in the kitchen today, there's a nice light coming in through the window so it's just running on the, uh, on the chopping board so uh, there you have it, hope you've enjoyed it.